Most of us remember those two professors of mirth, Mr. Murgatroyd and Mr. Winterbottom. Here they are, quick fire as ever. Ah! Well, what are you here for, Mr. Microphone? A few minutes, what are you here for? Oh, a few pence. Well, I'll have 50% of your pence. Right, I'll have 50% of your moments. Huh. Suppose I shall see you at the seaside this year? Yes, if I'm not kept too busy at the BBC side. Then I shall see you at the seaside. Ah, what I like the coast of England. Coast of Scotland, oh, very similar. Yes. Now, take my holiday. You take it yourself, I'm far too busy. Always by the sea. Ah, you're selling it then. Mm. Last year, I stayed just two minutes from the front. Really? It's yeah. very funny, because I was five minutes from the back. All in? No, the rooms were too small. Most <laughs> of me was. <laughs> did you have a pleasant prospect? Uh, I'll tell you about her later. No, no, no. I mean, did you have a decent view? A decent view? Well, I'd rather you didn't ask. I won't. I was a bit seedy when I arrived. Oh, did you pick up? No, I had my wife with me. So you did, mm. striking woman. You, you telling me I had to hide the spade. Huh. Now, do you know what I always call a spade? No, what? I always call a spade a spade. Very interesting indeed. The bathing was rather lovely. Mm. Was the water up to your expectations? I only paddled. Oh, yes, Some of the girls' bathing costumes made me open my eyes. Yeah, I joined the watching committee too. Really? Do you know I saw a girl with just uh, a little handkerchief held up by two straps? That sort of thing ought to be put down. Yeah, I never thought of that. <laughs> Did you swim in the bathing pool? No, I can only swim with one foot on the bottom. Oh, I didn't know you were a contortionist. I suppose you went in off the deep end. Did I tell you I had my wife with me? Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. I really did, yes. I think one of This is the way. Oh, yes, yes, that's North quite right. <laughs> Uh, do you know, Mr. Winterbottom, shrimps appeal to me. Now, do they? Hmm. Well, one appealed to me, but I didn't uh, take any notice. Well, they uh, Did you do any you. surfing? No, I let the waiters do that. <laughs> I suppose you took a tramp up on the downs? Yes, I did, and I threw him right over the cliffs. So he's still on the rocks? Yes, he is. One day, I saw a girl nearly drowned. Really? Yes, she was clinging to a boy. Was he nearly drowned too? Eventually, she was washed ashore. Washed ashore? Who by? Her mother. When? Last Friday. Oh, very late. Yes. Regatta. Ah! Wasn't the greasy pole fun? I couldn't understand the word he said. Really? No. Why didn't the mayor open the new harbour? Ah, uh, uh, he couldn't. I was sitting on the quay. <laughs> yeah, it started in a humble way, they tell me. Used to have a kiosk on the front. Well, he's only got a watch chain there now. Oh, Do you see that fat widow diving? Oh, mother, what an ideal foam exhibition. <laughs> How did you know she was a widow? When she came up, I could see weeds. <laughs> oh, you're going this way now, yeah? That's good, <laughs> I like that. I say, did you go for a sail? No, but I went for a sailor who insulted me. Insulted you? Yes. What did he say? He said I looked like the part of a fish. Come on, what did he actually say? That he'd take me for a row anywhere. Take you for a row? Yes. <laughs> Were you stung by a jellyfish? Only by my landlady. Charged me threepence a day for leaving my hat in the hall. Dear to be in touch out. Well, it wasn't really a hall, you know. It was just a narrow corridor. An inadequate passage. That's what it smelt like. <laughs> smelt like? As if there was an attic in the passage. <laughs> ah, but it's a wonderful place to see, isn't it? <laughs> it is really Outside. Yeah. Ozone's worth a thousand pounds. I owe only half that. <laughs> Lovely lying in bed in the morning and listening to the sea girl. <laughs> Ah, that's only when the tide's up. When the tide's down, it goes... <laughs> well, I shall see you at the seaside this year, I expect. Yes, if I'm not kept too busy at the BBC side. Then I shall see you at the seaside. Uh, why are you starting this all over again? Two more people have just come in, can't you see? Oh, yes. Well, well let them wait. All right. Well, goodbye, Mr. Winterbottom. Goodbye, Mr. Murgatroyd. What a dreadful man. <laughs>